Hi everyone, Ted Wyman here from Post Media with another edition of On the Rocks. And today I am joined by a very special guest, one of the most decorated curlers in the history of the game, Jennifer Jones. And it's a very special occasion as Jen is just off winning her 153rd game, which is the most all time at the Scotties. Jen joins us from the bubble in Calgary. And Jen, what does this mean to you? It, it does mean a lot. Um, my dad was really, he followed all the records. So it just makes me actually think of him and I know he'd be super proud, but just to go down in the history books and the sport that I've loved that has given me so much and to know that you're kind of always be remembered is it's pretty special. And it just feels like yesterday was my first Scotties. I can't believe that it's been so many and there's 153 wins. That's kind of crazy. You also talked a little earlier about your daughters and what it'll mean to you to have Isabella and Skyla see those record books and, and know some of the history of what you were able to accomplish. Yeah, as a mom, all you want is your kids to live their best possible life and, and life, sorry, lives. And I, I just want them to reach for the stars and chase their dreams. And that's what they always tell me that I'm doing. I'll ask them, do you want mom to retire from curling? And they always say, no, mom, you're chasing your dreams and that's what you should do. So I know they read the record books and they, they kind of they'll look at what the you know what the stories are and Bella knew today that I had 153 wins and she was so proud of me so I think it it makes me feel like I'm showing them that if they can if they try really hard and they work really hard that anything is possible and uh and I and I feel like they're a part of it now that they're they're just really excited about anything that we accomplish it was really interesting after we talked to you on zoom today I talked to Sarah Hill the player that you played against from Newfoundland and she said that the first thing she could remember was watching you in 2005 at the Scotties in St. John's make that amazing shot. And that's why she's been a fan of yours ever since. And, and I think it was a real honor for her to have been involved in that historic game. What are your thoughts on that? It's incredible, actually. They were so amazing after they're like, now we're in the history books too. <laughs> so they, they were just, they were, they're awesome. And I always get a little bit of, um, I get emotional a little bit when I hear that what we've done has impacted other people and especially young curlers like they've seen us and it's inspired them to keep curling and to pursue the sport that we love and and some part of what we did kind of impacted others in the sport that really actually means probably more to me than anything and so to hear her say that she was there in Newfoundland and that she's cheered for us and maybe pursued curling because of it I, I that that definitely means a lot to me. So you're also uh, competing in this event, uh, and it's been an interesting ride so far, a three and two record, probably at a point where, you know, you really got to be stringing some together. How do you feel about the game altogether? Yeah, we definitely need to go on a little bit of a roll here. Um, every game now matters. We kind of put ourselves behind a little bit. We weren't as sharp as we'd like to be um, early, but I feel like we're close and we just want to get better with each game. And I definitely kind of doing that. And it was nice to win a tight one today to feel like you have to make some shots late in the game to win a game is always a good confidence boost. So I'm hoping that we'll carry that forward uh, to tomorrow. And I can always tell you, and I can guarantee that we'll never give up until they tell us we can't curl anymore. So we're going to keep plugging away and see, see what we can do. Finally, I just want to ask you what life in the bubble has been like. You've been there since, well, probably about a week now, almost. And it's so different from anything else that probably any curlers have ever experienced. Uh, just how do you sort of sum it all up, what it's been like? I feel like the biggest difference, to be honest, is the actual curling, like without fans and even without the media there. Like it kind of adds to the, just the excitement of the event. Like it's just different from what we normally experience. Like to have the fans cheer for a make or a miss and then the media scrums after it just adds to, it makes it feel so important. So that that to me is you have to really remind yourself where you're at because it just feels so different out on the ice. Uh, but the, the actual hotel doesn't feel that different to me, to be honest, like the bubbling, like we always just kind of, we're big nappers. We nap, we kind of just eat and you eat, sleep and curl. And that's all we're really doing. So the, the bubble itself has been okay. Um, I'm learning how to do skip the dishes and all of that stuff. Cause I live in the country. We don't really do any of that. So that part's been kind of, uh, different for me but other than that it's been going really well getting lots of rest and relaxing and really thankful like I said every day we're just grateful and thankful that we get the opportunity to curl because right now I think any opportunity that you can have to do something you love is you definitely don't take it for granted well I imagine there's another potential record on your mind somewhat because if you can win this week you could be the 
winningest uh, player of all time in terms of championships at the Scotties. That's a little bit of a ways off, but you know, just the idea that that could possibly happen. How does that kind of sit with you? That that's the the main goal. I'd love to win with the girls. We've worked really hard, and I'd I'd love to stand on the top of the podium and to to be able to to represent Canada one more time would be would be awesome. So that's the ultimate goal and kind of what we're reaching for. And that part, the record's a little bit secondary. I think that's when you enjoy it after the fact. Right now, I'm just so focused on trying to, to, to play well at this championship and see what we can do. Well, Jen, I want to thank you very much. I want to congratulate you on making history today and all the best with the rest of the Scotties. Thanks so much. Thanks, everyone. For Jennifer Jones, I'm Ted Wyman. You've been watching On the Rocks.